Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Pokemon Blaze Black 2 Redux series. In today's episode, we are going to head over to the... Uh, what's this place called again? <laughs> I think it's... Okay, Verbank Complex, um, like the inner part where all the trainers are at. Uh, in the last episode, we caught our boy Eomega, which is a Beldum. So we're just going to level him up, I guess, here uh, using the trainers just because of the fact that all my other Pokemon are super over leveled. Well, they're not super over leveled, but they're at the level that I want it to be at for the next gym. Um, if you guys are wondering how I was able to level them up so quickly, uh, pretty much in the Shaking Grass, there's a 55% chance to find an Audino, and Audinos give basically as much XP as Chanseys. So um, it's like a thousand XP every time I defeat one. So that's pretty much how I was doing it. Uh, let's continue on though. I'll be your opponent right alongside my trusty Wubat. If you do have a Wubat, that's great for us because... Actually, no. I forgot the Wubat. I, I don't know why, but I confused Wubat with Zubat. Well, I mean, I, you guys can see why, but... Regardless, I think Eomega has this in the bag. Level 16, just like Eomega. Um, Eomega is going to be another, like, Melania. Um, it's going to take forever to level this thing up, but... That is the price you must pay for using a very good Pokemon. Air Cutter comes out here, not going to do too much damage because we resist that. Headbutt does a lot. If you guys are wondering what nature this is, by the way, it's going to be a, a careful nature on Omega, which uh, reduces our special attack and increases our special defense. Um, I forgot to show that in the last episode. Regardless, it's going to Tailwind here to make his team faster. Shouldn't matter too much because I don't think Beldum is the fastest Pokemon in the game. A Volpex comes out here. This is actually the Pokemon that I wanted. Um, if we never found Lucky, uh, they made Volpex um, into uh, not Volpex, uh, Nine Tails into a Fire and Fairy type, just like Rapidash. So that was the one I was going to choose, but. I'll take Lucky over a Volpex any day of the week. Any day of the week. Goes ahead, goes ahead and hexes here. That's a ghost type move that definitely would have KO'd the Omega if we stayed in. It's gonna fire spin. It shouldn't do too much damage, even though it's in the sun. A Razor Shell is gonna be like a 2 KO. It's because that sun's up. Oh, I guess not. It's an Oko. Uh, Cherubi comes out here. Do you have Chlorophyll? She has like a little theme going with her team. If that's chlorophyll. Imagine it has weather ball. I'm actually a little worried. Uh, regardless though, I think we live any attack. And I think we just revenge here. Nature power seed bomb. Wow. Revenge should Oko this thing though. And it is chlorophyll by the way. I don't think the tailwind was up anymore. It could have been. get the KO there and we get the money and the XP um I'm gonna go nah actually we have items I don't need to go heal let's go ahead and use them if we got the items we might as well use them right let's use this fresh water on our boy Omega and then Jack can just chill at that HP I don't think if I have to use a Pokemon I can always just use um wait is Jack only level 20 yeah we just use Luna all right, I think you're a trainer as well, so let's talk to you. There's an amazing function called Habitat List. You could use it to show me what kind of I want to live in this complex. Oh, you don't have the Habitat List for the complex filled up yet. Uh, I wonder what we get for that. I'm actually going to do that um, off camera just because it can be a little of a grind. Time for some special Pokemon training on Dark Grass. Okay, so I guess the trainers are the ones that are up here. So let's go ahead and go up here. And fight these dudes. We gotta be careful here because we can fall off. There we go. Worker Mitchell. Oh, really? I survived? That's insane. Look at Jack. Let's just finish it off here. Okay. So now this time, oh, I completely forgot. If I don't work really hard, I won't have a chance to shine. All right, time to get to work. Okay. Um, I'm gonna head back and go here real quick since Muda got fainted. 
and I'll be right back. Alright guys, we're back. We're gonna continue on with these trainer battles. Seems like there is a worker over here that we can take care of. Let's talk to this kid first. I'm gonna get a lot stronger so I can impress Roxy. Youngster Waylon. Waylon? Alright, let's go ahead and battle this trainer. I get bored when things don't change, so I don't mind battling you. I wonder if they're all gonna have electric type Pokemon, because if that's the case, then it's gonna be kind of annoying. No, it seems like you have poison types. Grimer. It's unfortunately, but Psybeam should be able to Oko this thing easily. And Luna looks like it's about to hit level 21. Yup. Okay. It's okay if every day is the same when I'm working at this complex, it means there aren't any problems. Can I? No. Alright. Let's continue onward. There should be one more worker. I don't know where he is. But that guy, that bald guy over there, I was speaking to him earlier off camera. He was telling me that there were like three of them here that needed to be motivated with a battle. So we took care of two of them. And there's still one more. Let's get here real quick. And I'm going to head back over there and look for that third and final trainer. And then after that, we can go battle um, Roxy and the Poison Gym. Alright guys, so I found the last worker. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Work at this complex was my dream, but now that it's come true, I've got everything I want. What? The foreman said so? Okay, fine. We just have to have a battle, right? <clears throat> guys, I checked uh, Omega's attacking stats, and let's just say abysmal. Absolutely <laughs> abysmal. It has like a 17 special attack stat. Like, the stat is just 17. Like, do you, do you know? That's like a level, like, 6 Pokemon stat. <laughs> Offensively, that's like a level 6 Pokemon. Um, Jesus. This thing is literally doing negative damage. Um, we're in a disadvantage here. This is a fire type, and we are weak to this. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go Melania. She shouldn't level up here. <clears throat> Just because of how annoying it is to level her up. Yeah, no way. She levels up after these three trainers. Just break and swipe here. Yeah, as you guys can see, that bar barely moved. Let's go ahead and break and swipe here. Hopefully, we don't get burned. Uh, and we got burned. Now my physical attacks are going to do a lot less damage, and we're also going to take damage after every turn. We just finish off the slug mode with a bite. Fortunately, we do get burned though. That kind of sucks. Maggie beats out. Stink should be able to live a breaking swipe because we're burned. Fire spins. I think Melania's actually going to faint here. Well, fire spin damage and burn damage. Burn damage and then fire spin. Close. Uh, we actually, yeah, we're not. That's not gonna KO us. Came close, and then we break and swipe. Was this his last? I think it was. Nice. It was his last. Get some money out of it as well. Let's go ahead and see what he has to say. He came to this complex, so I'm gonna could accomplish a lot. That means that as a trainer, I have to work like crazy. Um, let's head down here. Yeah, I figured it'd be an item or something. A mental herb. Uh, that's a competitive item. That's not really something I would put on for a casual playthrough like this one. So we'll keep it in our bag for now. Let's go ahead and talk to this bald guy now that we fired up his workers. Rock smash. A move that <laughs> we already had on one of our Pokemon. Um, I guess it's nice to have. Oh, actually, yeah, we can definitely teach that to... Um, we can definitely teach that to Omega. Pretty sure you can learn Rock Smash. 
and uh, that can give him another move to use besides takedown and headbutt. Alright, probably one up nice and healthy. We're going to... Actually, we can teach... Can we teach this thing work? Uh, wait, oh, I can actually, it can learn Power Punch for sure. For definitely can learn Power Punch. What? We can learn Power Punch in this thing? That's insane. Alright, how about Rock Smash? Rock Smash either. Okay, how about Work Up? Oh, Maggie, you can't learn nothing, buddy. You can't learn nothing. Alright, let's continue on to the gym. We've cleared out the Verbant Complex. The gym is definitely our next stop. Uh, we could fight this dude over here, but he's just... Nah, I'm good. Um, actually, yeah, now let's... I'm gonna fight him real quick, guys. I'm gonna fight him. Just because he is a fighting-type gym leader... And Omega is a psychic type, so we should be doing some, if not two, O coin to two AK on all his Pokemon, which should definitely help us getting levels. Oh, he's level 19. Okay, no, nah, this was a mistake. This was definitely a mistake. This was definitely a mistake. And he has Fire Punch. Oh my lord, this was a mistake. It's faster than me. Has Fire Punch. And he has a berry to weaken. <laughs> this was a mistake. Oh no. He's using revenge here. Oh, it was a speed tie. Crits us there. Um, dang. Now I guess somebody's gonna have to get these levels. And I, I guess it's gonna have to be Millennia. Yeah, it, it can be Jack. Nah. Trying to figure out who's gonna have it's gonna be Luna. It's gonna have to be Luna. Just cause Um she is a fairy type, so poison types are gonna be strong against her anyway, so we're probably not even gonna use her in this fight, even though she has a psychic type. That literally crit me. Yeah. Wow, he just Machop has literally crit us back to back. Not a sock. This thing is actually really strong. I'm actually really scared. This thing is really strong. It might just KO our entire team. Like it literally might KO our entire team. Um, we gotta go Jack here. We're gonna revenge. This should do a lot. Yeah, and then Razor Shell should be able to clean this up. Is that like, why does he keep clicking poison jabs? Maybe is he like locked in with an item? Could be. I wouldn't be surprised. Might be like Choice Scarf or something. Unfortunately, we get to level up with Jack, so we're definitely not going to be using Jack in, in the next gym. Uh, Jack is a mild nature, right? Um, I think we're actually going to get rid of Razor Shell. Um, Brian is actually a really good move. 65 power, and it's double damage when our HP is at half. And Razor Shell is 75 power. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of Razor Shell. Even though it's Jack's signature uh, move, it's not the best. It was a little bit stronger, like 90 power, and then I would have kept it on him. I definitely would have kept it, but these Brian's are about to hurt. It might just Oko this thing. Oh, close. Barry? Pretty much almost got all your HP back with that thing. He's gonna take us out here with a second cut, unfortunately. Nothing that comes down there. Um, We have the level advantage on this guy. So this battle should pretty much be over here. It was just me getting levels on Pokemon that I did not want getting levels. That I did not want to have levels gained, should I say. Scraggy comes out here. This mag kick is gonna hurt. I mean, not mag kick, double kick. I lied. This literally did nothing. 
Dragon dances. Oh lord, this is really bad. If he has a dragon move, we're gonna charm here. Charm is my best play. He's, I'm still faster than him, even though he dragon danced. Interesting. Very interesting. Alright, so pretty much he's at neutral attack. We're gonna charm one more time. This thing is still <laughs> slower than me. Unless it's charm priority. Charm could be priority. He revenges. It's not gonna do too much because he's minus two. Yeah. Um, we can just flame mill here. Dragon dances again, so he's at plus one. Oh no, he's at minus one. Okay, we can flame. Oops. Uh, I'm actually gonna charm one more time just in case he revenges here. He ice punched. So we were actually faster than him at like double speed. That's hilarious. Cause charm went second this time. Dragon dances again. Definitely a W for me adding charm. I'm sure that was like a questionable move getting rid of double hit for charm, but look what it did here. Imagine I didn't have charm here. I would literally would have lost this match. He has Ice Punch, which would have O-Code Melania. And then he has Revenge, which definitely would have O-Code Lucky at like plus two. Unfortunately though, Lucky hits that two level 22, so I don't think I'm gonna use him in this next match. I guess this is gonna be the uh the jacket level up i think jacket level up too this is gonna be the millennia and omega show what's this when well, he used bulk up okay this is actually gonna be really annoying we're gonna charm here he has a lot of scary uh setup sweepers that shouldn't do too much if he freezes me that's gonna be very unfortunate though okay no freeze that's good i'm gonna flame wheel Leftovers, berry juice, bulks up again. Okay, I think we can flame mill this thing two times and then win the game. That might do a lot of damage. Oh, I think we just lost here. I actually think we just lose here because he has ice punch. We can't, we can't beat this thing with ice punch. Oh wait, no, no, we can't, we can't, we can't. Cause we break and swipe, that's gonna reduce its attack by minus one. We're definitely gonna live an ice punch at minus one. And then we can just break it up again and run the game. Yep, Hit the attack drop, he ice punches. As long as we don't get frozen or crit, we live. Okay, no freeze. Oh, let's go, we won the game, guys. Oh, that was, that was scary. That was definitely scary. When we get out of there alive, trainer Brawly. Brawly. He was as tough as Broly. He really almost got us there. Whoa, wow, you swamp me. Your skill is top notch. I wish you would have got something from him. Are you gonna like try to fight me again? Yeah. I'm not fighting you again, buddy. Alright, so I'm going to go heal real quick, and then I'm going to level up Omega just a little bit using uh, the Aldinos I was talking about earlier. We're going to get up to like level like 19, level 20 area, and then we're going to hit up Roxy, and then we're going to defeat her, and then we're going to end the episode there. So I'll be right back. Oh, you overheard me on my fast stock of knowledge. Why does he keep... What's wrong with this guy? Where is he going? He went this way. Look at him again. So there's a right day. There's a reason why that shape of sphere is best for withstanding tremendous pressure inside. Yeah, we draw Pokemon these gas soldiers too. Oh, you remember practicing knowledge? Are you actually interested in what I have to say? I oh, mean, I have a complex buddy that I'm really happy to take this with you. Oh, a scope lens. That, um, that increases my critical hit rate. That's pretty cool. Definitely gonna add that to the video. And, uh, I'm gonna continue training. Peace. You 
evolve at this level? No way, I didn't know that. Huh. This was totally unexpected. I did not know this thing evolves at level 20. I was gonna stop at level 20 regardless, but that's pretty interesting. So our Beldum, aka E Omega, has evolved into a Matang. That was really fast. And we get to learn Metal Claw, which is perfect, dude. I've been I was struggling with this. Headbutt is 70 power, takedown is 90 power. Wow, that's actually pretty strong. Yeah, we're definitely gonna get rid of Headbutt. 90 power is intense. And I'm pretty sure it still has Rock Head as an ability. If it doesn't, then I kinda just baited. Let's check. I don't think it gets. Oops. Oh, no, it has Iron Fist. Oh, we kinda baited, but. Regardless, we have a Matang now. It's pretty dope. So let's go ahead and fight. Let's fight Roxy now. Let's see how she has. Let's see if she has any opinion on my boy Matang right here. On our new E Omega. Alright. Oh, wait. Actually, I'm gonna go here real quick and then we're gonna go fight her. Alright, guys. We're all healed up. Let's head on into this gym and see what Roxy has to say about our new boy. Ooh, we're going to like some underground place. I don't feel safe in here, if I'm being honest. This is a Pokemon gym, and it's also a rock club. Gym leader and the others are practicing the side, but please feel free to challenge all of them. Oh, you need to stay hydrated. Here you go. Appreciate that, my boy. Forgot his name, but it's my guy right there. My biggest fan. All right, let's head up in here. Dude. Who is the dude talking? The dude in the back sounded like me talking. Pokemon. Um. So it seems like we have Roxy here. I'm like, I'm so overwhelmed right now. <laughs> so these are probably the trainers that we can fight. But I'm honestly, I'm honestly just gonna go straight for Roxy. Like, I don't have time for any of you rock stars over here. I want, I want the head. It's too loud. She can't hear your voice. Are you serious? I'm right, I'm right here. I'm, all right, so I guess we have to fight. Who's all right? Look at the DJ over there. Yeah, you got. Can you lower this music, my boy? Yo, lower this music, bro. Yo, bro, turn this off, bro. I, I'm, I'm trying to challenge you. So I guess we gotta get rid of her instruments first. All right, let's talk to the drummer. Yo, my boy, get in my way and I'll knock you out. Excuse me? Stay out of my way and I'll knock you out too. Bro, you said some. You just, this dude is violent incarnated. What? He said, stay in my way, I'm gonna knock you out. And if you stay out of my way, I'm gonna knock you out too. Like, he just wants to knock somebody out. What the hell is that? You're over here talking about you're gonna knock me out. Look, look at this. Look at the Pokemon he has. This thing looks adorable. Alright, that was a pretty easy fight. Um. He was over here talking crazy. Yeah. You don't want to get knocked out. Yeah. Talking all that smack. Couldn't even back it up. Uh, the guitarist is next, I guess. Let's get rid of this girl. And we can finally fight Roxy. Finally, right? She's going crazy. Okay. Hey. Huh. Uh. Uh. Pokemon. Oh. Okay. I was off beat. Anyways, let's knock her out. So I'm gonna leave with Luna in this match, just because um she doesn't do too much, and uh, we can potentially get a hard hit off on something early. Um. And then I think we're just gonna like try to wear down her team, and then we're gonna use E Omega like late game, just to take care of her. He's not a trubbish. Do you have toxic spikes on this thing? Or like spikes in general? That's gonna be pretty annoying if you do. Hopefully we're faster this thing and we, can, we knock it out. Okay, so it does have toxic spikes. We're gonna side beam here. This should Oko it. It lives on a focus sash, which kinda sucks. 
All right. Um, we can just side beam again. Sets up two spikes. Okay, so that's gonna be toxic. Which shouldn't do too much damage. I was more worried about poison, honestly. Poison does more damage at these levels than toxic does. Um, sounds out of coffee next. We might be faster in this thing, actually. Let's try to side beam here. It clicks toxic. Okay, so this is actually gonna okay you. What? It did an Oko? That's insane. Are you like max HP? This has to be EV turn. It has to be like max HP, like max everything. Venom Shocks here is definitely gonna take me out. Yeah, I'm not surprised. It crit me, but I don't think that mattered. Um, so we're gonna go into Lucky. Lucky? You wanna go to Lucky here? Lucky, Lucky, Lucky. I think I wanna go into. I'm actually going to go into Jack here. I'm going to go into Jack. Let's get Jack started early. She probably has like a... Like a Grass Poison in the back. Because it's a pretty common typing. We can level up with Jack. It's cool. Okay, so there's the Grass Poison. Ivy Sewer. Probably gonna get drain here. I'm gonna go into Melania here on a Giga Drain. And then we can hit with like a fire fan. Leech seed. Okay. A little annoying, but not too bad. Poison, yep. We're gonna fire fang here. Clicks protect, so it's just gonna try to stall me out here. With leaf seed and uh and poison damage. So she has she has the strats. I saw she had Venom Shock on one of her Pokemon, which actually doubles in power. She tries to double protect, which is kinda weird. That literally did nothing. This has to be like max defense. Like max defense or like max HP or something. That literally did nothing. Um I'm gonna try to dragon rage here. Nope, it's gonna Venom Shock me, it's gonna take me out. Oh my god, this thing's annoying. And that's Black Sludge. Yeah, you're definitely like some bulky. Some bulkiness. Um, so it has Lee Seed, probably has like a grass move, and a shock, and protect. Uh, I think we can go E Omega here and just start throwing off uh, confusions. And that's gonna be our best way of beating this thing down. Gonna leech seed. We oh wow, we actually dodged. That's actually really good. Go ahead and confusion again. Hopefully we get the okay. No, it's gonna protect. Yeah, this thing's just gonna be really annoying to deal with. Okay, we confusion here. Hopefully we get a confusion on it. No, it's gonna leech seed again. All right, we're gonna switch here on the protect. Yeah, okay, we're gonna switch here on the protect. We're gonna go lucky here. There was the protect. Heal some health back. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna flame wheel here. Okay, it's gonna protect again. If only I had like a like workup or something. If I had workup, this would have been amazing. Cause I could've just worked up there. Okay, here goes the flame wheel. Almost KO it. Leech seed. Okay, I wanna switch here on the protect. Back to EO Mega. Tries to Venom Shock me actually. That's uh, that's actually not. Mm, let's see. Let's see if we KO here with the uh, with confusion. Hopefully we do. 
Yeah, we should, we should. He gets the double protect. Are you serious? That's like a 50% chance. And I bet that got out of range of the next one. Of the confusion. Yeah, of course. Oh my god, this thing is literally being a pain in the ass. Okay. So I'm gonna have to just hit this thing, honestly. At this point. Like, it's being really annoying. I think it's gaining too much. Oh my goodness, and they keep double protect. Like, dude, that's literally a 50% chance. You gotta be kidding me. Like, this is not fair. This is literally not fair. They try to do it three times in a row. Are you serious right now? Can I get a confusion on this thing? Oh my god, this thing is being so annoying. Put a berry on uh, Eomega, Omega, which yeah, doesn't really do much for us. Um, I'm gonna switch here back to Lucky on a protect. They actually Giga Drain there. You've got to be kidding me. Why would you Giga Drain there? gonna protect here oh it doesn't protect okay so it's gonna go for the kill that actually kills it wow okay great Royal Pete comes out here are you speed boost um in case you are I'm gonna go into Jack because if you're speed boost you're gonna click protect here I kind of want to keep lucky Go straight for an Aqua Tail, actually. Shouldn't do too much. Yeah. Let's see if your speed boost. Okay, it is speed boost. Alright, we're gonna have to burn here. Clicks protect. Okay. Speed boost again. It's fine. Uh, click burn again. Mana Shock. This shouldn't kill me. But it's gonna. Yeah. Okay, so Brian's gonna hurt right now. So it has Protect, Aqua Tail. Brian literally did nothing. What? Is it. How does. Is it my HP is half or the other Pokemon's HP is half? How does this work? How does this move work again? I forgot. Regardless, though, I think it's just gonna Protect here. No, Venom Shocks. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna go into Lucky here. This is looking really bad. Oh uh, no, not Lucky. We can't go Lucky because it's just, just gonna um, Aqua Tail me. We gotta go E Omega here. I'm just gonna Metal Claw. That's Metal Claw. Steamroller. What does that do? Is that a ground side? You've got to be kidding me. Are you serious? I got cleaned up. I literally got cleaned up. Oh my god, no way we just... <laughs> Guys, like what? This was... <sighs> Alright, I know what I gotta do. I know what I gotta do. I know what I have to do. We have to take advantage of that Ivy Sword. Yeah, so we get reset, unfortunately. Uh, reset number three. Reset number three. All right, guys. So I'm back. Um, we've learned that Roxy is not a force to be reckoned with. So I went out to go gain some more levels, just cause she's not Jaren. I'm not gonna treat her like she's Jaren. Jaren, he was pretty easy. Roxy, on her hand. She has her own little like strategy going on for her and I I think it's fair for me to level up here, especially because 
It seems her Pokemon have to be EV trained because I feel like they're taking nothing. I see that Ivy Sword, dude. That Ivy Sword was annoying. Uh, so some changes that I made. I added workout. Um, I'm sorry, not workout. Work up to some of the. So I think I added it to Jag and I added it to Melania. Um, just maybe not to take advantage of that Ivy Sword being so stally. Um, and using Protect. Um, I also gave the scope buttons that we got from that one scientist to. Uh, Omega, hopefully we can get some crits with Confusion. I think that would really help us out. So, the rematch, this time I'm feeling pretty confident that we can win this. So I have a little bit of a strategy in mind for this fight. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and take this Trubbish out like we did the first time. However, on the coughing, we're going to hit it with Confusion one time. If it doesn't KO, it's gonna click Toxic. And then... From that toxic, it's gonna Venishock. So I think we switch out to Omega on the Venishock. All right. Um, they can get rid of the coffin and still have Luna alive. Okay, so he just straight up Venishocks early. So that must mean that I KO you with this. Hopefully this doesn't KO me. Okay, so it doesn't KO me. And that KOs you. Perfect. Okay. So she's probably gonna send out like an offensive Pokemon here, just to get rid of. She's gonna go straight to Ivy Sword. Okay, this thing's probably gonna KO me with a Venishock. Um, we can try to Moonlight here just in case it tries to get cheeky. Is it worth? Nah, nah. We can just side beam. Yeah, I figured it was gonna Venishock. Um, maybe I should have switched out to Omega there. Regardless, though, Luna goes down. I think the switch to Omega would have made a little bit of sense, but we do get the Melania switch and i did put workout on this thing so we're gonna get the pretty much a free plus one because i'm pretty sure it's just gonna leech seed oh i misclicked i thought workup was there maybe get a flinch okay that's perfect that's perfect we we got lucky there that she missed the leech seed that would have been annoying to deal with okay now let's click the move that i wanted to click she actually goes for protect there okay okay so we're gonna work up here Get that boost. Okay, we're gonna Fire Fang again. It seems that we outspeed her. We could potentially flinch her with this Fire Fang. There's a lot of damage. Leech Seeds. Okay. Get my HP. Poison. Um. Huh. I kind of want to. I'm gonna call it protect. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That was the right play. That was definitely the right play. Um. It might get us a little bit of mileage if the next Pokemon she sends out is slower than Melania, but I highly doubt she'll send out a Pokemon that's slower than me. I don't remember. I think. All we saw was the Ivy Sword, right? And then the, um... Hopefully she doesn't get a double protector. It's gonna be really annoying if she does. In case she doesn't. Um, I think she had the... Whirlipede. I think that's the last thing we saw. Or we might get taken out here from Toxic. Okay, that's fine. The Ivy Sword is gone. It was really annoying for us the first time. So that being gone is pretty nice. Um, Ivy Sword gone. She probably doesn't have any answers to Jack. So I think I'm gonna go straight into Jack. Oh, she goes gold bat. This thing is gonna air cutter me. This thing is going to air cutter me. Um, I think it's worth going EO Mega on the air slash. Or air cutter, I don't, I don't know what move this thing has. Okay, it is air slash. Barely does anything. We're going to... Let's see real quick. I want to see what your offensive stats are. 29 and 43. So it's kind of similar. And then Metal Claw is 50 base power. And you're 50 base power. That's 100 base power. Plus stab. That's on um, like... What? 75? 150? 
and you're also 150. I'm trying to figure out. Oh no, you're not. You're not. You're only. You're only 75 actually. Yeah. No confusion. I think is our best. Yeah, confusion like our best. Our, it's our best move. Okay. Just want to make sure that I'm hitting this thing as hard as possible. It's gonna air slash again. Hopefully it doesn't flinch me. Uh. Yeah. All right. Goes for hypnosis, misses. Confusion is coming out here. Does a little bit under half. Okay, we're gonna click it again. Goes for hypnosis again. Gets it this time. Um, as I mean, this shouldn't really matter, to be honest. It doesn't seem like this thing can really hit me too hard. Hopefully, we don't get crit. Okay, we wake up first turn. That's amazing. Air slash comes out, no crit, even though we have the item that boosts our crit chance. Air slashes again, if we don't flinch, nice. Okay, cool, awesome. All right, so we get rid of the gold bat there. So I think Jack is looking really good right now. Gold bat is gone, Ivysaur is gone, a Ghastly comes out here. Oh, what are you going to do? Let's just pursue here. It hexes, that might kill me, it might not. It does. It's life orb. Wow, interesting. Okay. I think Jack outspeeds this thing if I'm being honest. Lucky definitely does. Lucky's really fast. Um Jack. Lucky, Jack, Lucky, Jack, Lucky. Jack. Okay, here's the play. Here's the play. So we're gonna go lucky here. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna go lucky here. So I actually got at level 23 lucky learned flame charge which is a slightly weaker version of flame wheel but we gain a plus one speed boost every time we use the move so I think if we are able to flame charge into a speed boost we should be faster than her whirlipede hopefully this KOs here because if it doesn't we're gonna be in big trouble uh oh okay Icy Wind. She's trying to slow me down. I would think you hexed there. Maybe it didn't kill? That's why she didn't click it? Interesting. Icy Wind. Okay, here comes the World Beat. I just have to get this thing down to half HP. We just have to get this thing down to half HP because Brian is going to be double power. So I think it's going to protect here. Yeah, it protects to get a speed boost. take poison damage I gotta see why she I see why she did it now why she icy wind me it goes for a double protect I guess it wasn't fast anyway we flame charge just under half speed boost okay but we should be the same speed like if it was if it was slower than me before, it should still be slower than me. Okay, so it was slower than me. Dude, Lucky is fast. We get it down to really low. Aqua Tail. This is gonna KO me. Crit didn't really matter, I don't think. At that range. Okay. We have a healthy Jack in the back. Well, not healthy, but... You know what I mean. We're gonna click Brian here. I think this should be able to win the game. Win the match, I mean. Venom Shock hopefully doesn't crit me. Oh, crit wouldn't have even killed me. It left me on like 10 HP. And we take out the Whirlipede. Let's go, guys. Dude, this was a tough gym battle. This was a. Yo, respect to Leader Roxy, man. She was tough. She gave me a lot of money, too. Yo, she was tough. We did all that extra leveling too, and she still got me down to one Pokemon. Sai, what are you doing losing, Roxy? Well, I guess that means you're strong. That This stinks, but I gave it everything I had. I feel revitalized and refreshed now. Here, proof that you beat me. Dude, we got our second patch, but we definitely had to work for it. This was no Charon fight. She definitely gave us a run for our money. The toxic badge, yeah, that fight was pretty toxic.
two badges now going up to level 30 even when you're getting trades will realize how good you are and won't ignore your commands also here the, here use this tm venishok uh we don't have anybody on the team that can use that but that's not a pretty it's not, it's not a bad poison move to have even better if your target's already poisoned it does double damage yeah that's what i was saying so she had hex on her ghastly with life orb which hex is also double damage if the opponent is status and then she also had a full team full of vena shockers with toxic spikes dude she was no joke hey you feel like you were something special during your battle of rocks maybe you should swing by the poke stars to get some uh You've been invited to Poké Star City. Oh, I forgot the old man. I have to get him to work as a captain. But first, what's that noise? Sounds like something comes from the pier. How did you hear that? From the all the way from the pier? Well, we'll find out what that noise is exactly in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and uh, hanging out with me. If you did enjoy the video, please drop a like. A comment would also be appreciated. Have a great night, guys. Peace.